everybody, welcome back to This or That. I'm Maggie, and today it is going to be the Battle of the Beauty subscription box. And I know, I know, like, YouTube is flooded with people unboxing these videos and showing you all the different products that they get, but today I really wanted to break them down and tell you the prices, tell you the details, tell you the benefits of all of them, so that maybe you can choose between this subscription box or that one to sort of give you a better idea of which one would actually appeal to your taste and your needs and whatever you want out of a subscription box. So the four that I want to break down for you today are BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Birchbox, and FabFitFun. These come in a variety of price ranges and in a variety of product offerings. So let's start with one of my personal favorites, which happens to be BoxyCharm. Also, disclaimer, I'm only subscribed to two of these subscription boxes at the moment, but I keep up to date with what's actually in each subscription box. Again, the prices haven't changed, the structure hasn't really changed since I did subscribe to them, and I did subscribe to all of these for several months at a time. So I'm not giving you an opinion or any sort of advice on these subscription boxes after one month, because something that you learn when you do subscribe to these boxes often is that they're very cyclical. So you'll have one really good month, one sort of off month, and I think that that's true for almost every subscription box except for one that I'm going to mention today but let's actually start with BoxyCharm this happens to be one of my favorites this is one that I'm currently subscribed to now the box looks like this and it's $21 a month for five full priced items yes five full size this is huge this is something that really sets Birchbox no and this is something that is truly unique to BoxyCharm Granted, they do have a repeat in the brands that they actually deliver. They obviously partner with several brands. They obviously partner with several brands. It's very obvious that they partner with several brands because I've continually gotten products from those brands. However, we haven't gotten any repeat products. It's just repeat brands. So I've sort of gathered up a couple of the things that I've gotten over the past couple months. I've actually had this one for a year and four months, five months, something like that. And some of the things that I've gotten along the way that I've been super impressed by are these eyeshadow palettes. And this is in the shade Warm Up. And as you can see, it comes with nine like warm toned eyeshadows. These are just your neutrals. I think this can appeal to everyone. This is why I was so pumped that this came in a subscription box because we also have gotten some eyeshadows that are like a quad or like a trio that have some crazy green color that I most likely won't wear. Also got this one in Cool Down. These came like in subsequent months, so that was two really good back-to-back -back months, and I love this one because I didn't really have any this shade. This is like your cooler, pinkier tones, and I use these suckers all the time. These retail for $50 a piece on the website of Studio Makeup, which is pretty hefty for like nine eyeshadows, but anyway, obviously a super great thing to get in a box that you're only paying $21 a month for, and that was only one item per box that month that they came. Other things that we've gotten, the Brow Gal is a very popular brand that they feature. This is actually three like eyebrow powders and it comes in a variety of shades so that if you maybe have like blonder hair, this one will work for you. Maybe reddish hair, I don't even know. I, don't, I obviously don't have red hair, so don't listen to me. I use this brown shade, clearly I am. I have darker eyebrows. Anyway, this is something that I definitely would not have bought myself, but I do find myself using it, so I'm. I'm really glad that I have it. Other things that surprise me is they give you beauty tools. So not only are they giving you makeup, but they're giving you things to use to put on the makeup. So I've really enjoyed this brush. These are obviously super popular on YouTube. Very, um, this is the crown brush. And what you do is you put foundation on and you apply it. I used it to put my foundation on today. I am hooked on this thing. I can't stop using it. And I would have never bought this for myself. And that's one of the great things about subscription boxes is that, is that they really force you to step out of your comfort zone and use products that you wouldn't have ordinarily thought that you would before. Again, this crazy brush that I've been using for bronzer. Love it. Another full-size eyeshadow palette that we've gotten. This is like the knockoff version of the Naked 3. It comes with a brush and everything. They also give like lip products. This like gloss that I'm wearing today from Juice Beauty is one that I've gotten in a boxy charm. It's like the, yeah, reflecting gloss. And then like a liquid lipstick. So they're very on trend with what they're giving. Again, like this is a very trendy tool. This is a very trendy type of lipstick. Eyebrows are a big thing. Contouring's a big thing. We've also gotten this highlight and contour palette, which I was really impressed with. Again, I'm not a huge contourer, so I don't think that I would have purchased this on my own, but I'm glad that I have it. I don't know, to give it a shot. 
and on the beauty tools. I'm sorry I'm going on and on about this. I just really love BoxyCharm. They also partnered with Z Palette, which is the company that produces these little magnetic boxes for you to put your individual eyeshadows or blushes or just anything that comes in that metal pan. And it's like a little mini one for travel. And I think that that's so cool. If you have some like individual eyeshadows that you love, you get online and you sign up for it, but you don't enter any preferences. That's a little iffy because you're like, wait, this is makeup. Like they need to know my skin color and stuff. They just try to be universally flattering because they don't have a beauty quiz. They also have an opportunity where you can go in and you can review each product that comes in your box each month and you can rack up points. And these points, equal dollars that you can actually buy like repeat products that you got in your box or different items from the same brands that were offered in your box the reviews actually get you money to do that at first they were giving every single person the exact same products well then it started happening where my roommate was getting her box a little later than mine for some reason and she was getting sort of like what seemed like substitute products in her box. So I don't know if they ran out, but I mean, they were so good products. We just didn't always have the exact same in our box every month. And one thing that was really appealing to BoxyCharm to me at first was that they did give everyone the exact same thing. Now they're trending toward including certain items for people who have been subscribed for a while and new subscribers. It wasn't quite equivalent, so it's incentive to say subscribed. However, this is one of those boxes that sort of every other month is really good. So it's not that the in-between months are bad, it's just you get really fired up about one month and then the next month it might be a little bit lackluster, but I say stick with it at least for a year. I don't know, I just continue to be surprised by it. I really do like it. I think it's worth the $21 a month, especially because you're getting those full size products, which is something that only one other subscription box that I'm going to mention today gives you. So enough about BoxyCharm, let's move on to Ipsy. So Ipsy is a subscription box that's only gonna cost you $10 a month. And each month you actually get little makeup bags that come with five like trial size or deluxe sample size products. So these are some of the bags that I've gotten in the past. I love this one with the little scalloped edges. I think this was like a June box. And then this came more in the winter time. As you can tell, it's just like a dark metallic color. And then you got this one. I think they partnered with Forever 21 on this. It's all glittery. So the bags that come with these, I think, really set this subscription box apart from other ones that are just coming in boxes, like BoxyCharm. Like you can actually use the vessel that all of your things are coming in, which I think is a huge plus because I personally think you can never have too many of these. They're perfect for travel, keeping in your purse, throwing in a suitcase, you name it. My only issue with Ipsy is that they are very inconsistent in who gets what but that is all based on the beauty profile that you fill out. So when you sign up for Ipsy, they have this entire quiz where you go through and you pick preferences, skin color, hair type, skin type. So they sort of gauge what things will look good on you and what products will work well for you. So I think that that is a huge pro for Ipsy as well. Whereas I was telling you earlier, BoxyCharm doesn't do that. So with BoxyCharm, you don't take a quiz because everyone's generally getting the same products with a few exceptions here and there. Some of the things that I've gotten in the past, like I've gotten this nail polish that I actually really like from a brand called Color Club. I don't even know if that's sold in stores. I don't know where you get Color Club, but I've actually really loved this. This has been one of my favorite products I've ever gotten. But then you also get little things like this. Like this is a teeny tiny size of this um, like It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I don't know if that's focusing. Bye Bye Pores Under Eye Concealer. Now this is a product where it's totally fine if it comes in this trial size. I should really throw this away because I've had it for like two years now, but a little goes a long way with this. This is a very expensive product and I'm really glad that I got to try it. No, I don't think that I ever went out and purchased the full size of this because I've had this for so long. But again, this came in like a neutral medium shade and I told them that I was fair. So it's, they listen to your quizzes, but it's not like hard and fast, that's what you're gonna get. So that was a good product. And then I also really liked this little Pacifica eyeliner. But as you can see, all of these products are really small. But there were other products when I was just like, what? <sighs> Like, I really enjoyed the hand lotions. I've gotten a dry shampoo that I've really enjoyed. But then sometimes it's just like a little teeny tiny powder that's like a tiny square and you can't even like get a brush in it. So it's like, why give me this teeny tiny blush? Like, why not just make it a little bit more bang for my buck and give me something I can actually use? Because now that's like, a dollar on a, or two dollars on a product that I that I'm not using. It's a, it was sort of a waste of two dollars. Know that compared to BoxyCharm, yes, you're paying ten dollars or eleven dollars less. But 
the size of the items that you're getting are just not comparable. So just know that you're going to go in, you're going to get trial size items, but you get this cool bag because it all fits in this bag most of the time. They sometimes include really great brushes and I like Ipsy because they give you a variety of brands. Like they're clearly not in the BoxyCharm realm where they have these like partnerships. Like I feel like Ipsy truly gives you a large variety of brands to try out, which I really appreciate. So if you're gonna go with a cheaper beauty subscription box, I highly recommend Ipsy. You can have all these fun little bags and you get to try a variety of brands and go buy yourself the full size since all you spent was $10 on these, you know, five trial size items. So another one, I don't really have anything to show you because I got this like two years ago or something like that, but I want to talk to you about Birchbox because this is a box that I have a little bit of beef with. I do think that I want to resubscribe and give it another chance, but what you see on their website to me is not what you end up getting. So I went back and signed into my account and it showed me what I had gotten in those boxes and it's showing me like shampoo and conditioner. Well, of course I got like a teeny tiny trial size of shampoo and conditioner and then it showed me some Burt's Bees lotion. I did not even get like a tiny trial size of the lotion. I got a rip open packet of lotion that you can get for free when you buy other things at Sephora. Like to me, if you're gonna get a $10 subscription box, stick with Ipsy because they actually give you trial size items, not like one-time use items. And I think that was a big differentiating factor to me. Also one time, you know those ponytail holders that are just elastic tied in a knot with a little tail at the end? One time that was one of my products. When you can go buy a whole pack of those for like two bucks at the store. So I was a little disappointed. However, they do have more well-known brands that go with Birchbox. And now they've partnered with all these different celebrities. So maybe they are stepping up their game. I looked to see what the spoilers were for the June 2017 uh, Birchbox subscription and it actually looked really good. It had a body wash, it had a split ends repair cream, and they're all from brands that are either well known or something that I haven't seen before so they may be a really great brand I've been missing out on. But just know my vote is for Ipsy in the $10 subscription box realm because Birchbox does also cost $10 because I feel like it really is more bang for your buck. So I'm just going to gloss over that. I, I need to resubscribe to it, but I wanted to go ahead and mention that to you. So lastly is my absolute favorite subscription box I've ever gotten, and I'm really sad that it's taken me this long to get it. This is definitely one that you have to feel like treating yourself. It is a little bit more expensive, but this does not only offer beauty items. This is an entire lifestyle box as told by the name FabFitFun. This is something that I know you've seen all over Facebook. I know I've done an unboxing. The, the internet is flooded with FabFitFun, but something that they don't tell you is all the features and add-ons that come with these boxes. So to give you the basics, this is a FabFitFun box. It's huge. It usually comes with, I think like, I don't even know the number of items. I don't think that they typically say a range, um, but I would say that in the last box that I got, it comes seasonally. So for my spring bo box, I got 10 to 12 items. My box was valued at over $350 and I paid $50 for it. Just to give you an example of the types of products that come in this, these are just a few. I'll link my FabFitFun unboxing for you to check out because I really think that this is the best. If you want to save your money and just pour all of it into one seasonal subscription box, this is the one to do it. I got this really cool pouch. It has a weird saying on it um, that's actually waterproof. So this is perfect to travel with in the summer if you have a wet bathing suit. Maybe you want to go swimming right before your flight or something. You just throw your bathing suit in here and put it in your suitcase and it's not getting everything wet. Well, it could also be a good beach bag to put your phone and your credit card and your keys in when you're at the beach because it keeps it safe and sound. I also got this like three piece lip set. So this is why I'm sort of throwing this in with the beauty boxes because this is like a lip gloss, a liquid lipstick, and and no, not a lip, yeah, lip gloss, liquid lipstick, and regular lipstick. And then we also got a lip liner that went with this. This is another brand that I've actually gotten in a BoxyCharm before. So clearly they're up in the subscription box game. But anyway, I thought that this was huge, like a three piece kit in this box. Like that's, that's awesome. Another thing is this brand is amazing. It's Briogeo. You've probably heard me talk about it before. This is a full size reparative leave-in conditioning spray. So this is perfect for your tangles in the summer after being in the wind at the beach and everything. It smells so good. Their products are made with wonderful ingredients. Her whole mission was to create, the woman who founded this company of course, was to create these you know, really fun, well-packaged, good for the environment and new products. And they're now sold on the shelves of Sephora. Awesome, awesome product. 
Another thing was this bracelet that I wear nonstop. I never thought I would buy this, but this is an $80 bracelet that came in the box. And it's just a little cage bracelet that you sort of like wear high up on your arm, like little gladiator, sort of. Anyway, yeah, again, not something I would have bought myself. It's very trendy jewelry, but I love it. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. And then this thing is called a roundy. It's like this big, it's like this big uh, blanket that's round and it's supposed to be used as like a picnic blanket. I actually did like bar in the park, you know, like the bar workout. And I use this as my yoga mat because I don't have a yoga mat. <laughs> Anyway, multi-use, they also say that you could like drape this on a couch if you want to add a pop of color. It could sit on the end of your bed. It could also be a tapestry. Do whatever you want with it, but this is a really great item. I think this is ordinarily 30 bucks. Like, as you can see, I don't know, I, did, I just love this subscription box, seriously. I think it's so worth the money. With FabFitFun, something that I don't think is advertised well enough is the number of add-on items and different deals that you can get by being a member of this subscription box. And I had to pull up my computer because I didn't want to butcher this for you. Up to a certain point, so for instance, for the summer 2017 box, you have until June 4th to go in and put add-ons in your box. So they've partnered with a bunch of these different brands and they've put together a lot of items from past boxes and they allow you to add that on to your monthly, or to your seasonal subscription box that comes to you. So instead of just getting the items that come in the box, you can also purchase additional items and they're all super discounted. For instance, I'm going through this so that I could help you with this video. Naturally, I ended up spending more money, but it's a pretty great deal. They've partnered with these really well-known brands, for instance, Living Proof. This is a hair brand that I just, I think is the absolute best. So they are offering the Living Proof No Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. When you originally buy these full-size bottles together, they would be $50 and they're offering them for 19. So I just went ahead and snagged that. They also offer eyeshadow palettes and again, products from past boxes. So let's say your friend doesn't have FabFitFun. They don't want to subscribe, but they really, really love that roundy that you got. They actually have a discounted roundy on here that you could buy for them. Also, they have options where you can donate to different foundations. They also have a thing where you can add on an additional FabFitFun summer box. So again, this is for your friend. Maybe you just want to give them a taste of what FabFitFun is like, but you don't necessarily want to buy them a whole subscription. You can buy them a box for $50 and they'll just get that one box. And if they love it, they can use your referral link and go subscribe. So these add-ons to me are huge. So you can go ahead and add those onto your box for a discounted price. Another thing that they do is for annual subscribers, I mentioned that you can go in and pick the individual colors. So I know I looked at spoilers because I do this every time. And I know that in the upcoming summer box, we're getting a necklace and it comes in three different colors. So it's like four turquoise beads, four clear beads, or four peach shade beads. So if you're an annual subscriber, you can go in and actually pick which one of those necklaces you want. That's a big plus. Like this is why I really want to upgrade to the annual subscription because Oftentimes in subscription boxes, you really like what the product is. Like I got this Ofra liquid lipstick one time, but it was purple. Like, do I look like I'd wear purple liquid lipstick? No, I absolutely wouldn't. So now that product's going to waste. But if I could have picked a neutral shade, I would have absolutely loved that product. So I think that this is another reason why FabFitFun is just a, such a step ahead of other subscription boxes. It's for the price, the biggest bang for your buck, seriously. If I were to suggest one subscription box, it's very obvious that I would pick FabFitFun, but let's say you're somebody who's solely focused on makeup, you want the beauty products, then I would take the price down a bit and go with BoxyCharm for $21 a month. But if maybe $21 is too much for you, but you're still interested in the beauty and skincare sort of hair care items, then I would choose Ipsy over Birchbox. So hopefully this video was helpful. I hope that you got to dive a little bit more into what these boxes offer rather than just watching an unboxing. When I get my FabFitFun this summer, I will film another unboxing of that because I thought that was so fun. I feel like they're so informative and so fun to watch and so I figured why not. So if you like this video, then please like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.